Hi everyone, welcome to Discovering Natural. So it's been a long time since I've washed my hair in the shower, like years, okay? So I normally wash my hair outside of the shower and my hair is low porosity. So you can see as I'm turning on the water, I wanna make sure that the water is warm because with low porosity hair, products tend to build on top of the hair so by me first rinsing my hair thoroughly with some warm water it allows my shampoo to do a better job in cleansing my scalp and also cleansing my hair so once my water is warm enough i'll proceed to just using my hands and massaging the water into my hair to remove some of that product buildup and also to soften my hair and prep it for that wash day so as as you can see I'm doing this sweeping motion through the hair and I'm also squeezing as I go on so once I've done that I just keep on massaging massaging then I concentrate on my scalp and I act as if I'm scrubbing my scalp and this really helps to lift up any product buildup that is on the scalp so next I'm going to be shampooing my hair so to shampoo my hair I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture shampoo this is the Jamaican black castor oil shampoo this is a clarifying shampoo for my hair and I find that this works really well to remove the product buildup. I'm going to first apply it to my scalp and also to the, to the root of my hair. Um, after applying it throughout my scalp and to the root of my hair, then I'll proceed to just kind of smoothing it down. I'm going to take some more and I will apply that to the length of my hair. Okay, so keep on watching. This is what I do when I'm out of the shower and I don't wash my hair in the shower. And also what I do in this case, you can see me doing the same thing like scrubbing, massaging my scalp, taking my time to massage and scrub my scalp. So sometimes when I have time, if I don't want to use my fingers, what I'll do is that I would use my scrubbing brush, my shampoo brush. And that is what it looks like right over there. So using my shampoo brush works really, really well. Once I've washed my scalp, I'll proceed to wash the length of my hair. For some people, they don't put shampoo on the length of their hair. But for me, I have to put shampoo on the length of my hair because as I mentioned earlier, my hair gets product build up. If I don't shampoo the length of my hair, my hair will look dull. It will not look like as dark as you guys normally see it. But you can see after doing that, I'm just going to proceed to rinsing off my hair with the warm water. Okay, so this is my routine in the shower, but I concentrate a lot. If my hair has a ton of product buildup in the scalp area, I will repeat this process twice. I don't repeat it more than twice. I repeat it twice and that is what I do. So here I'm just aligning the water to just pass through and really thoroughly wash my hair clean. So I really enjoyed this wash day session. Um, if you guys follow me on my family channel, DN Vlogs Live, you would have seen how we put together the bathroom. We did our bathroom and I'm totally in love with my bathroom. Now I have a bigger space to record and a bigger space to show you guys what I'm doing. Now, if you notice, if you look at the bottom of my hair, you see that piece of hair dangling? Those are shedded hair. The good thing about washing my hair in braids or washing my hair in twists is that I don't lose a ton of hair. But the bad thing is uh, when I wash my hair in the shower, water gets in my ears. So if you want, you can try washing your hair in twists. And that is it for the shampoo process. So I just squeeze, squeeze and um, try and get as much hair. And then I can go ahead and just remove any shedded hair. So you see what I'm talking about. This is the shedded hair. So I just removed the shedded hair from it and I proceed with the next step after squeezing out the water. Why am I squeezing out the water? I find that for my hair with low porosity hair, I need to remove as much liquid before I use my deep conditioner. So this is the deep conditioner I'm using is the Shea Moisture High Porosity Replenishing Mask. Moisture, moisture, moisture. Why am I using a high porosity product when my hair is low porosity? You guys, this deep conditioner, they shouldn't call it high pros. They just call it moisture loaded. This deep conditioner has a ton of moisture and it works really well for my hair. It works well for my daughter's hair. 
who is low pro high prosty and it also works well for my other daughter who is normal prosty so what i'm doing is that i'm putting the conditioner throughout the length of my hair i'm not putting it on my scalp i am putting it on my edges because yeah you also want your edges to be conditioned so i just put it throughout i did make sure that i cover my hair with a plastic cap and then i'm going to start my deep conditioning process so let me share a little bit about my deep conditioning routine my routine involves using a heated cap for 30 minutes and then rinsing my hair so this is me sorry about my face i just put my acne medication on my face and also my um sunscreen so just bear with my face looking the way it looks so i'm making sure i dry my hair thoroughly like squeeze the water thoroughly and once I've done that, yeah, I'm not editing this. <laughs> I'm going to take the Yuhuru Natural. This is the Rapid Biotin MSM Enhanced Scalp Therapy. And I'm just going to spray it to my scalp. This helps keep my scalp balanced. This helps reduce dandruff and any itchiness that is in my scalp. Since I started using this, I have not had any dandruff. I've not had any issues with my scalp. So this is a must have for me and my hair. And so what I'm doing is I'm just spraying it throughout my hair and, and my scalp, not my hair. So this product is only for your hair. It is not for, it's only for your scalp, sorry. It's not for your hair. So what I'm doing is I'm just massaging, 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 um, trying to get it thoroughly in there. And if you notice, I'm not putting any oils or anything so far in my hair. So the next thing that I do is I will be grabbing my leave-in conditioner. So this is the leave-in conditioner I'm using. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-in Conditioner. And yeah, so this is what I've been using. I love using it. And I take some amount that I'm going to use and I put it on the cap because I don't like seeing hair in my deep conditioning product. Okay, so once we do that, I'm just going to massage. I'm going to squeeze this throughout my hair, kind of squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So this is what I do to get the product in my hair. If you notice throughout this, I've not unraveled my hair. I've not done any sort of anything on my hair. So I'm just using the leave-in conditioner. So I usually just put leave-in conditioner and like the next day or even later on that day, that is when I do my moisturizing. This is just my wash day routine. I love this conditioner because this deep conditioner is packed with so much moisture. It's packed with so much I don't know, it just keeps my hair really, really moisturized. And I make sure I put a good amount of it in the hands of my hair. So after I've done this, I just massage, massage. I'm just trying to get it wherever. So the last place I put it is in my problem area. My crown area is always my problem area. So if I'm going to start losing hair, it's usually on my crown area. So if you notice, I'm putting more products on there. And I just pack it up. I make sure I put on the edges. And I'm just, right now, I can't find a uh, twist ties. So <laughs> I'm trying to twist up my hair, but for some reason, my hair is not cooperating with me. But you guys, so after I do this and tuck it in, the next thing that I do is after I'm done with all this process, what I do is I would moisturize my hair later on that day, or I will moisturize it the next day. So this is my wash day routine. It's very simple, very quick. I get done in, less, in about an hour or less. And yeah, so that's my routine for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.